Chill Lightel One users, this is your host from Azuzen for Lightel One Development. So here today we are having a evaluation X 4.5. Um, thank you for all the developer and the peros who made this one for this device. And I have to thank uh, everyone who is really working on this one, made the tree and made the things available for this device. So finally we are having a evaluation X for this device so currently this is in fully stable stage i would say but it is an unofficial soon it will be get official for sure and next thing i have to mention is we are in tech fancy channel where we didn't cover any video about the evaluation x because um luke uh, stopped the uh, gsa development for some time and uh, for that some reasons i'm unable to get the latest evaluation x so that's apart and finally we are having it so this os had uh, received a lot of awards and a lot of good um words from a lot of uh, rome reviewer and this is one of the best room for gaming so i personally didn't uh, try the gaming on this rom or in this device with this device so we'll hope for best and we, we, before we get into this video we will start with the boat animation Usually this will uh, this will show a uh, white background with a black text but now I'm using the dark theme so the background is black. So this is same like in a pixel experience. So as I did make some mistakes in the uh, earlier video of pixel experience. So full of full description is working. So they are like I didn't mention about uh, like uh, I said in the video that uh, with the firmware uh, firmware patch and the OS it is fine no need to install the Pi beta I said in the uh, Fixel experience installation video but that's wrong actually I did tried from Oreo, uh, Oreo vendor and then install the firmware and flashed uh, wiped all the things and installed the ROM it got boot loop so yeah there are some files which are required to boot this one so I would suggest if you are coming from uh, GSI development to custom ROM uh, environment, just install the Pi Beta and then the OS and then on top of it install the firmware patch or firmware file. So here we have our home screen. So and this OS come with the GFs included, which is stock. So we will get the exact pixel experience or uh, exact pixel. Uh, mm, look so here we have this uh, google feeds and the rom itself it's really feels good it's pixel launcher so um, where i have to start level uh, first we'll start with the uh, evaluation settings so it's called the evolver and we have pretty much all the things covered and we have the network monitor indicator feature and changing the clocks i personally like this one here this clock so this looks good and you can change the uh, background color foreground color everything and you can do customization here and uh, you can change the old icon like this different you have multiple options this looks good in my opinion and yeah there are uh, pretty much all the things you have i like this uh, uh especially the battery charging animation which is one second okay okay here you can see um there are some lot of minor things are going here with this room and i really like this one because uh personally i am the big fan of uh, aex and the havoc os but in my primary device which is uh, uh two i use 
evaluation x because of it fully encrypts the device it with it comes with the g apps which fully supports uh, tons of google features so which i really like and the second thing if i have to mention is uh, in Fixel experience room, we have a bug. Uh, some users have complained it because in that room, uh, when I checked it, I used only one SIM card, which is my Geo SIM. But here I have moved both my SIM cards, like uh, my Geo and Atel. So they said that in Fixel experience, they are facing issue of uh, like uh, not working two SIM cards some something going with the sim card problem but here both the sim card is working i tried to call from both the sim it's working and there we had a loudspeaker issue where it uses the uh, loudspeaker but the volume is too low but here the loudspeaker is working fine So those issues got fixed and earlier in uh, lineage OSS or lineage based OSS uh, like Sakura or CR drive we were having uh, USB issues but here USB tethering and USB file transfer everything got fixed. Third thing is um, some of you guys asked about the battery drainage uh, here it's pretty good it is like coming like a uh, 530 to 6 hours of screen on time and the ideal manager is really good the battery it will, it will go to a deep sleep whenever it it goes more than 30 minutes even you can change those options in um, settings i guess in evolver miscellaneous and we have a gaming mode inside that i think you can change the options to Wait a second, let me show you that. Ah, here you have the DOS mode where you can uh, check, change this option and little tweaking will improve the game performance. And also to get the best out of it, you can put it in the battery saver. That also do the thing good. Here it is showing it two days of this one. I was using this one for last 40 minutes. It's like, uh, um, 20 percentage of charge but uh, guess what i was just did the multiple restarts and uh, kept this charge two days before i guess when I, when i start building this one i just kept it a uh, full charge so from that time it just lost this much charge i didn't charge it in between and the third thing is like a drawback i can say uh, it doesn't have a inbuilt uh, camera to api enabled so you yourself have to enable the camera to api so it is currently in legacy if it is in a level 3 only you can use this google camera currently it won't work so you need to root or you need to use the twrp to install the or enable the google camera to api while talking about the routing this one this build is supports fully encryption and it passes the safety net so it, com it, it complains with all the things and whichever hidden apps it will come here like a netflix whenever you search in play store it will come so yeah the security wise it's really good it's safety net pass and the third thing for, sorry instead of uh, google camera i'm using the google camera go for me it's working fine I don't know but some of you guys didn't like this Google camera go due to the lack of uh, quality or reduced HDR so yeah I kind of like this one and I guess I have covered most of the things about this one nothing else nothing much um, I, and I forgot to tell about the audio quality here and it is not very low also it is not very high it is decent I would say still it is low only well let me put some uh, shall let me check the audio quality so this is not a loudest one but it's these are not so bad like gsis and some of you guys asking about the ROM or a gaming review. So here we have a gaming mode, which 
we will be covering in our very next video so that that is one of the thing coming up and i will be using this one as a, as my daily driver but that's not a true that's a lie as i have to uh, switch between lot of apps simultaneously to get it tested and get the things going so yeah that's what about my uh, my view on evaluation x and you can download and install it by using the link in the description and about the performance it is aosp based so the performance is really really good i would say it's best for gaming i'm not sure but some of the guys have uh, told that evaluation x is best for gaming i personally didn't try this one and uh, yeah that's pretty much of this video hope you liked it leave a like if you enjoyed it and we'll see you in next good one bye